Hey there, Popper fans, Brian Cook, and tonight, as always, we're playing my favorite Popper deck, Cycle Storm. Really excited to play this, but if you haven't checked them out, I actually uploaded two member exclusive videos over the last few weeks that you can check out in the member section of this channel, where in those videos, I go in depth about why I'm low on Exhum. I don't like flaring paint at the moment, so definitely go check those out, but for now, I'll give you an abridged version and if you want more definitely become a member it's only five dollars and you get sweet sweet bonus content so definitely go check it out but the tldr on exhum is everyone was really high on the card after i tenoed the challenge which was sweet like i'm happy that i did that cool whatever but i think i caught people off guard they weren't ready for the exhum plus repository scob interaction and a lot of people didn't really know how scob worked so i was getting a lot of free equity there since then, people have learned how to beat Exhum and Repository Scob, killing it with the trigger on the stack. Or honestly, I feel like Exhum's never been worse, if I'm being honest. Um, a lot of the decks in the metagame just simply go around it. They're either making a giant life linker, they kill you. Fairies has infinite blockers. You know, you might not realize this. Fairies is up to like 22 creatures now. They have so many blockers that like a 5 5 hexproof or horror of the broken lands isn't getting in there anymore. So I found that the Exhum plan was just like, every time I boarded into it, I was making my deck worse. And I decided, hey, enough is enough, and I'm just not gonna do that anymore. There's actually a couple other points, but I'll save those for the exclusive video. Um, but yeah, I'm off of Exhum, and then I asked the question, do we still need Flaring Pain? And immediately after that video, I received some data that Flaring Pain uh, might've been useful because a few decks were playing Prismatic Strands were upticking. That's not the case. Um, at least anymore. So I'm not fl playing the Flaring Pain. Uh, it's mostly just for the Boros deck since you can remove Prismatic Strands for it. That said, you can beat Prismatic Strands as long as you play very quickly, because you can't take a lot of time, but if you play really quickly, you can upkeep kill them uh, with the Strands. Or in our sideboard, we have Fairy Macabre to just exile the Prismatic Strands from the graveyard, assuming that they discarded it to Faithless Looting. Um, I'm good enough with this deck where I think I can beat a few copies of Prismatic Strand, so I'm not going to play the Flaring Pain. But if you feel you need to play it, hey, it's your prerogative, you know, not a big deal. I would simply cut like a Dissenter's Deliverance from the board to make room, but I think I'd rather have the third uh, Deliverance myself. That's what I'm playing today. The Fairy Macabre is, uh, the Goblin deck has become pretty popular. According to Goldfish, it's the fifth most popular deck in the format right now. So I, I want the Fairy Macabs for the matchup because Goblins is just so fast. They can turn three you while having Duras, and it's just a really good deck. So the second most popular deck in the format is Bogles. Bogles doesn't turn three you that often. They do turn four at a pretty high rate. So you might be thinking, why aren't you playing Darkness? I don't think Darkness is actually that good, if I'm being honest. Like, it's fine, but you could also just board and gnaw to the bone if you wanted that sort of effect, where you're going to just time lock them for a turn. And I don't even like boarding and gnaw. I think what I would like is to just be the best combo deck I can and race them. I think that's actually the best medicine there. So I am not playing Darkness. If you want to play Darkness, more power to you, but I'm not going to. Uh, this is my deck tech for the day. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this league. But for now, I'm going to hop on in and get my cardio. I'll see you in match number one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for a Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month. 
15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. But maybe sweet perk, secret deck list, early access to videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Line, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for seven tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us. Just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. Welcome to match number one. We're on the draw. I am definitely going to keep this. There's a little bit of friction with having Horror of the Broken Lands and Basic Island, but I still think that this hand is a keep. Draw. All right, let's go grab a swamp. All right, swamp acquired and passed the turn. If I had to guess, this is probably familiars. Island into familiar. Yep, you got it. Draw. All right, we're just going to pass the turn here. God, Pharaoh's faithful. You got it. I don't yield to that. And another preordained, sure thing. Okay, so we're going to cycle a Horde of the Broken Lands and the Vantasaur. Untap, draw. Let's cycle the Horror again. Healer, let's cycle Vantasaur. Cycle the Street Wraith, do we hit a land? We did not hit a land. All right, pass the turn. Four mana from the opponent. Seagate Oracle. Sure thing. And Ponder. Their life total doesn't really matter if I'm being honest. Like it, it would matter if they went infinite with uh, the God Pharaoh's Faithful, but them just gaining like 10 life or whatever, I don't really care about. Draw. Let's try Dark Ritual here. They do have some prohibits in their deck, but I think that this might be a decent window for us, so I want to see if we can draw into the um, Reaping the Graves. Speaking of the devil, Dark Ritual. Can we have a Cabal Ritual? Okay, cycle the Vantasaur. Let's see if they bite on the Dehada's ploy. They did not. All right, cycle Stinger. Lotus Petal. All right. Um, let's try for a Songs of the Damned. If they were this patient, I mean, props to them. All right, so now I'm going to cycle the Baron more. Cycle Architects. We're at 36 cards. All right, that was a good one. Let's pay a blue, go down to 21. Let's go get another Songs out of our library. The Teachings was a very good hit. Okay. And our opponent's conceded. Okay, so they didn't even want to see the Reaping the Graves in my hand. I'll take it. So we'll bring in the counter magic. I don't know if like Mirshaw Crab is really a card that I want, but we can side it in for now. All right, let's get the Architects out of here. In the ploy. I don't think ploy is like really a card we want in this matchup. I think that you can shave a Lotus Petal because we're bringing in the Mountain. 
and then we're two over. In my experience, I don't love teachings in this matchup just because it's a pretty good counterspell target. Uh, but I do like leaving in one. So now we have to figure out another card to cut. Um, and I think the real answer is like maybe I only do one mirror shell crab just in case our opponent has graveyard hate. And if you really, really wanted to board in the crab, I think the correct decision is actually to board out another copy of Lotus Petal down to two. Cannot keep. Try this out in his bottom uh, Lotus Petal here. Island Pass. All right, so I think I'm gonna play the Baron more and then in my upkeep, I'm going to cycle it to go grab an Island. And they picked up a planes with their own copy of Ash Barons. The Chancery, sure thing. All right, let's go grab an island. Draw. And then we can just go grab the mountain here. That's the turn. Perfect mana. Draw. Another Ash Barons. Okay, so let's go grab... Um... I, I might have just hinted that I don't actually have Pyroblast here. By tapping the mountain and untapping. And it looks like they're just respecting us this game and not tapping mana, which is fine by me. We'll grab another Swamp and cycle the Horror. Hello, Reaping the Graves. Welcome. Another Horror. Okay. Play that land and pass. They've played the planes. They're still at seven cards in hand. All right, so we'll cycle Horror of the Broken Lands here. Blood Celebrant. Cycle the Baron Moor. Okay, let's cycle some uh, Street Wraiths here. Trying to hit some other cyclers. One of the problems with uh, how we side it is I will eventually run out of life for Street Wraith. That is something that's going to happen. So I have to be a little bit more careful on how I cycle. Draw. I think I'm just going to cycle this now. And again. Play the Celebrant and pass. And they also have drawn three Ash Barons this game. Three mana for a snap, okay. I guess I gave them a uh, free mana here. Oh, sure. <laughs> you got it. Draw. Another songs. All right, let's see how many counter spells they actually have. They think I can beat double counter here. Songs of the Damned. Negate. Songs of the Damned. They still have Counterspell up. I wasn't expecting actual negates out of them. Maybe I should have been. Um, teachings? Please Counterspell this. Let's grab a Songs and cast it. All right, so I can in theory draw into a Pyroblast here, so I'm gonna take that sh uh, the chance. I have Triple Street Wraith in the graveyard. So we'll start on the Triple Street Wraith, and then return the other creatures. Okay, so we have three chances at four copies of Pyroblast here. Cycle. Cycle. Okay, so I get a couple more looks now because I drew Dark Ritual. Um, I can, in theory, cycle this healer and draw into it. All right. No dice. It's sort of a bummer. Um, let's play Island and Cycle, I guess. And we just missed. All right, cycle. 
Pass the turn. We only have one Songs of the Damned left in our library. But I think the upside here is that I can just start playing Stingers. Uh, let's tap like this, I guess. Okay, so they're at 20 and they let the Stinger resolve. They put two on top with Preordain. Mole Drifter. Now the Evoke. Ephemerate. You got it. Three card. Oh, I'm sorry, three mana still available, not three cards. All right, six cards in the opponent's hand. Let's cycle a horror here. Auto yield to that trigger. And the draw. Cycle this as well. Hydro Blast. All right, so I'm just gonna cycle this healer, get in an extra point of damage. Another Cabal Ritual. Okay, so in theory, we could have a window to win here. It really depends on how lucky I get. Let's start off with a Cabal Ritual. Cycle the Horror. Okay, that was a very good hit. Cycle. Cycle. Okay. So that gives me seven, which is enough to teachings for the last um, Songs of the Damned. Or I could repositories back, a, <coughs> excuse me, a songs we already have, which I think is actually a better line. So let's cycle this stinger. Pedal. It's fine. All right. Let's play the scob. And now we go to exploit. Sacrifice it, return songs. And attempt to make 15 mana. It's a lot of mana. This is a bait right here. We're just going to let this go. Because if they have Dispel, I lose the... Well, I, they think that I would lose, but that's not the case. Um, and they just conceded. They had enough. All right, so that was match number one. I mean, I know that we have double Pyroblast here, but it looks like they were actually just digging for Dispel. Uh, but that said, if they had like a, a Hydroblast or something there, I guess Hydroblast wouldn't matter, but a Dispel. So you like blast the, the Mole Drifter and then they dispel the songs. Like that's a bad exchange. They don't know that we have two Pyroblasts, so it was never really relevant. But these two cards off this don't actually matter. That was my whole point. We're 1 out. Let's see how match number two goes. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Match two on the play. Cannot keep that, unfortunately. Have to mulligan. Womp womp. All the way down to five. All right, so we will keep this, and I think you're supposed to bottom Songs of the Damned. And... Honestly, even Dark Ritual here. I know it seems crazy to just, like, put back Songs of the Damned, but one of the traps with this matchup is that you keep a songs and then you end up casting songs early is like a four mana ritual which isn't what you want when you have triple cycler in your hand you're going to see more cards eventually and the idea is that you can trip so many times off your cyclers by the time you draw into one of your other three songs that your graveyard's already stocked where if you keep songs over like a land you end up cycling a lot slower and i'm not really looking to cycle slower uh, if you end up putting back a creature, what if you get stumped and you, you run out of cyclers? So there's that, uh, like, fallacy there. And they're on Bogles. Okay. Draw. 
All right, cycle the dino, cycle dino, pass the turn. So Cabal Ritual is a fine draw. Two mana. For another copy, Utopia Sprawl. And they're just passing. Good deal. All right, so cycle this Vantasaur. Cycle the Healer. Cycle the Street Wraith. I'm not under any pressure, so I think I'm actually just going to pass here. And then in my upkeep, I'm going to shuffle my library with Ash Baron, so that way we can get that Songs of the Dam back in it. Well, you know what I mean, not on the bottom. Iliad's Pilgrim. For Ancestral Mask, sure thing. Upkeep, let's go grab another Swamp. Draw. Okay, so land drops for days. Ding, that was a good one. All right, we're gonna pass for now. So when they play Mask, that Pilgrim will get plus six, so we'll be taking seven down to 11. There's a pretty good chance that we're dead next turn. Um, oh, it doesn't count itself. That's what it is. All right, so they have two cards in hand. We should get moving. Right, we have Threshold. Let's uh, just cast Cabal Ritual here. See if I can hit another cycling creature. I'll take another Cabal Ritual. And let's cast Songs. And then I'm going to hold priority. So I'm going to try to get this Songs to make more than six mana. And I'll return Healer. Street Wraith. And then a couple of the others. So let's cycle this. That was a good hit. Okay. Um, let's cycle the Vantasaur. Not going to waste mana cycling that. Dark Ritual. All right. And then Healer. Let's cycle the Healer. Cycle Architects. Cycle the Stinger. All right, so we got two extra mana out of the songs. All right, now we cycled this horror. Boom, I think that's going to be the game. All right, so now we play Scob. And we will exploit it, getting back Songs of the Damned. Just love to sing, you know me. Always singing. And we will reaping back uh, the scob as well, so that way we can get back a Songs of the Damned later. Okay. I'm just going to return everything for now. We have enough mana floating that I don't think we have to cycle with uh, the Songs of the Damned on the stack or reaping the graves on the stack or whatever. Cycle Architects. And the Dino. Dark Ritual. Have I played a land yet? I have. Okay. So cycle the Dino. Lotus Petal. I don't really feel the need to play a Stinger yet. Cycle. Teachings. Teachings just represents another songs here. Cycle the Healer. Down to 23 cards. Cycle Horror. Stinger. Dark Ritual, cycle the Street Wreath down to four. Okay. Let's play Scob. And Exploit. Getting back Songs of the Damned. This was a mulligan to five, by the way. Return everyone. And we'll bring everyone back with our 21 mana floating. And I think now we can just play Double Stinger and then win the game. Sacrifice for red, Sacrifice for red. Stinger. And Stinger. All right. And our opponent concedes. Sweet. Game two coming up. I mentioned this in the deck tech today, but you could board in Gnaw to the Bone, and I think that's a reasonable thing to do on the draw. On the play, I think you don't sideboard at all. 
I think you just want to be the most aggressive combo deck you can. But when you're on the draw, I think boarding in this package over Architects is fine. Uh, we could try it right now. I'm not like super against it. Let's see how it goes. I'm up for showcasing things just for the video. Even if it ends up being bad, I'm open to just like trying these things out and that way you can get a better feel. Uh, so here we have the forest, but we don't have gnaw or a single creature. I think that this hand is a little bit of a trap. Okay, this hand is much better, and I think we just bottom the blood celebrant. Opponent going all the way down to four cards. One thing that I do like about sideboarding in Gnaw to the Bone is that a lot of these decks sometimes have a flaring pain in the board, and something like Darkness or Spore Frog can definitely get you. Uh, a lot of these decks also play Gut Shot for the Fairies matchups that they will bring in just in case you're on a build with Spore Frog. And Gnaw to the Bone gets around both effects, so they can't stop you from gaining life with a flaring pain. That's not how that works. And Gut Shot doesn't interact at all with, you know, Gnaw to the Bone. Except, I mean, it really only matters if your life total becomes zero. So that's why I'm interested in that. Um, I, I guess that's my point here. We're just going to play a Baramore and pass. Cycling Ash Barons for a Plains. Playing the Plains. And Cartouche, you got it. So we'll take two here going to 18. Upkeep, let's go get probably the island. Draw. What a cycle of Antisaur. Lotus Petal. Land, and we'll take three down to 15. Draw. Let's cycle the Vantasaur. Reaping is pretty good. Cycle Vantasaur. Street Wraith. Street Wraith. All right, we're just going to pass for now. No land three. That said, our hand's looking pretty good. Ledgewalker land. So they're hellbent, nothing going on. Draw. All right, Dark Ritual. Cycle the Stinger. Cycle the Healer. Another Songs of the Damned. Okay. And we're going to hold priority on that songs and return some creatures. Let's uh, make that one make a little bit more mana. Pick up the two wraiths and then some of these other creatures. So our goal here is that that songs ends up making more than seven mana. Okay, another songs of the damned. Pretty lucky. All right, welcome Cabal Ritual. Cycle. Forest. Cycle. Teachings is decent. Cycle. Okay, keep it going. Cycle again. I don't really think I want to waste a mana cycling that. It seems not great to me. So I'm going to cycle here. And now we ended up getting two extra mana out of that, which is fine. Songs of the Damned again, and we will Reaping the Graves. This time I'm going to return the healer, I think. And maybe we start playing healer out to gain life. I'm not sure. Because we haven't hit a gnaw yet, and I'm a little bit worried about my life total, but maybe I just accept that I have a few gnaws in my deck and I will draw them. Uh, because I'm at 34 cards already. It's probably the better thing to do here. All right, let's cycle a healer. Okay. There's a gnaw. Another street wraith. Cycle. And there's both gnaws. Okay. Cycles. Uh, the stinger. There's the fourth street wraith. Okay. Cabal Ritual. So I could gain eight right now. They're hellbent, so I can at least cycle one Street Wraith here. Play a Lotus Petal. Come on. There we go. 
All right, so now we can add three green. I'm sorry, one green, three mana total. Knock to the bone, we're back at 20. Cycle some three rates. Our opponent's had enough. All right, 2-0. Match number three coming up in just a second. Playing your favorite combo deck in paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for grape shot. Everyone's favorite Stormwind condition. A Galvanic Relay Exile Indicator, four treasure tokens for Strike It Rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has Slime Time Live! Eve Progenitor Ooze tokens with the power and toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then Squirrels versus Goblins, Chatterstorm versus Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel tokens and 20 Goblin tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Match three on the play again. Great hand keep. Okay, so Baron Moore passed the turn. In our upkeep, we will cycle for the island. Okay, so they played a bridge in F6. I think we can likely make the assumption that they're on infinity. Draw. All right, let's just cycle the architects here. Or the broken lands. Welcome. Pass the turn. Looking more like affinity by the second. Oh, are they black burn? Okay, I have not seen the black burn deck yet with the artifact package. Uh, so this is likely for uh, Gav Blast, which makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's cycle this and go grab um, a swamp. So one of the things about the black burn deck is that they often play Nile spell bombs in the board, which if we look at our sideboard real quick, our sideboard is based on Gnaw to the Bone. Well, that's really awkward when your opponent has Nihil Spell Bombs. So it's actually one of the reasons why I switched to Descenters Deliverance, believe it or not. So in this matchup, we can board in both Descenters and Gnaw. All right, so they played a Mountain. Kitchen Imp coming down. Get the value. Ouch. So we're going to go to 16 here. Draw. All right, let's cycle the Vantasaur. Cycle Baron more. I th so I could of this turn played Dehada's Ploy. My fear was whiffing and burning a bunch of resources. And now that I drew Reaping the Graves, I'm pretty confident that we can at least attempt to do something meaningful next turn. Um, I guess I'll cycle this. They're not going to kill me from 14, so I'm going to cycle just in case we had a land and we did not. Lightning Bolt, so I'm at 11. I guess they could kill me. So maybe that Street Wreath cycle is a little aggressive. Because if their last cards in hand are like Galvanic Blast, Galvanic Blast, then something for like a bump in the night, I guess I would be dead. So maybe that was a reason to not cycle. But I guess that would actually be lethal here anyway. So this is a lose four. Okay. So I'm at five. And they're passing. Draw. All right. Dark Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Cycle the Vantasaur. Cycle Stinger. Cycle Healer. Cycle Architects. So I think cycling the Street Wreath is a little bit of a trap here. Cycle that. Because I could just die to a burn spell. Um, Alright, so I think I'm going to cycle the Horror. 
Because I think I've come to the realization that I'm not going to win this turn. Unless, like, my next draw was insane and it was not. Alright, so let's gain some life here. And we can discard a Street Wraith. Pass the turn. That main deck life gain. Looks like here they're going to use the Blood Token? Or, okay, Deadly Dispute, sure. That's a Gaff Blast, three cards in end. Did you get me? Three mana? For uh, Alms of the Vein, okay. So they still have two cards in hand. I could be dead with this treasure token. All right, so they don't have lethal, apparently. Teachings was a good one, so now we can go get songs. Okay, teachings. Songs. Cycle this imposing Vantasaur. All right, so... I'm going to flashback teachings because we need storm count here. That's the big thing. Songs again, and then flashback ploy. Storm from the graveyard, and now we'll discard the street wraith. Discard the swamp. Cycle. You know, this was actually a lot closer than it should have been. Our opponent mulligan to five, and uh, we're barely winning this. Return eight. Okay, so if I could find a Lotus Petal or the Blood Celebrant, I plan on playing out a healer. Cycle. There's the Celebrant. Perfect. Healer. Because by playing out healer now, it means that I can start returning street rates later. And I don't really feel the need to um, play out any stingers now. I don't think the mana's worth it. Okay, this Street Wreath only costs one life. We can cycle that. Boom! Love it. Uh, let's cycle the Architects. Dark Ritual. Let's cycle the Baron more. 18 cards left in Library. Let's make some red mana. Increase that storm count a little bit. Okay. Songs of the Damned. Can I play this as a land? I can. Perfect. Tap it. And Reaping the Graves. And this should do it. And the opponent conceded. So that's game number one over the red black burn deck. So here, I think we definitely want the Dissenters and the Gnaw to the Bones, just because, like I mentioned, they do have a couple Nile Spell Bombs. So I think you're supposed to board out the... Maybe I'm wrong. I think you definitely have to board out Architects, but I think you're supposed to board down on Teaching. I don't think you can afford to have both in your deck. It's just so many slots. And then you have one more slot. I think you're supposed to board out Petal. Um, I realize that this is a fast matchup where we need mana fixing, but everything else seems so vital. I don't know what else you would do. And I don't love Scob in this matchup just because it, the removal aspect. I don't know if you can afford to waste four mana. And I'd rather have the consistency from the one of teachings that could get like a gnaw to the bone or something. So this is my game plan. Actually, I could board out a Baron more and keep the fourth pedal. Let's do that. Opponent takes a mulligan to six. So we have two cyclers here. And we have two pretty crucial cards between dissenters and gnaw. I think I'm actually going to keep this. I don't love it, but I think it's fine. Opponent with a mulligan to six this time. Bridge. Draw. Yes! Such a good draw, because now we can get the forest. Another bridge. All right, let's say Clash Barons. Go grab that handy dandy forest. I love my invasion basics. Speaking of the devil, 
All right. Lightning Bolt, we're at 17. All right, so they played another bridge, but they're not really committing a whole lot yet. I feel like they might be holding it in their hand and sitting back on it if they do have it. We don't even know if they do. Okay, draw. All right, so we look like we're a little bit stuck here. If our opponent doesn't play anything meaningful on their turn, I'm going to cycle the dissenters. Ouch. 13. 9. Two cards remaining in the opponent's hand. Faithless looting. Discarded two lands. So this is going to put us to 5 life. All right, so I'm going to cycle the dissenters here. I don't think we need to sit on that. Whoops, ca cancel. Cycle. Okay, cycle the healer. And we might as well get the last basic out of the deck. Come on, cycling creature. All right, let's play the celebrant, I guess. It's a theoretical blocker. Deadly dispute. Sure. Three cards now in hand. Two cards in hand. Duress. Well, I'm going to gain some life in response. And then they can take whatever they want, but the options here are all essentially the same. They chose a Songs of the Damned. One card in the left in their hand. And uh, not a cycler, so we're just going to attack here. I am the aggro deck. Hear me roar. They're flashing back faithless looting. And they have an alms of the veins, so we're going to lose three here. That's fine. All right, we're at eight. It'd be nice if I could draw into something good. Draw another Songs of the Damned. Deck's looking a little anemic right now. They're up to three cards, two cards now, and they're passing. Draw. You're killing me, Doc. Get in there. So this would put me to four. I think I'm supposed to just flash it back now. I mean, it stinks, but I don't want to risk dying. Okay, so they're hellbent. Uh, I guess that's a good sign. Now I'm at seven. Tyrant's choice. So now we're down to three. Come on, Dak. Cycle the horror. These draws have been abysmal. All right, so we're dead to a light breeze. They drew a land, so we're getting another opportunity here. Come on, draw. Womp womp. Definitely hit our fail rate this game. We're at one. Please, can I have something? Perfect, exactly what I wanted at one life. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, I have to be dead here. Our opponent gets three looks uh, to kill me here. They're draw step both plus both blood tokens. And Kinchinip will also do it. That's a bummer. Okay. So game three coming up. I'm just going to resubmit. I think our deck list was fine. I just didn't draw that well. Game three. 
I think I'm gonna try this. I don't love it. Like obviously having Ashburns as your sole land isn't that good. But we do have a reaping. We have the deliverance if we need it. We just have to, you know, trust that we're going to draw more lands. There's a Baron more. Great Furnace. And Voldaren Epicure. Draw. Cycle. Another Baron more. Bridge. Their spell bomb. So we have the dissenters, but I need to draw into the forest. I feel like I missed an opportunity last game. So I have the answer, but they get to eat two creatures out of our graveyard. And I burn two resources answering this. Feels bad. Uh, it looks like they messed up. It didn't actually exile my graveyard. Oh, they F6. They didn't actually sacrifice it. That was just the destroy trigger. Wow. Okay. I'll take it. I thought they sacrificed it. They didn't. That's wild. All right, so they played in Alms of the Veins. And another Voldaren Epic here. They still have four cards in hand, and we're about to be at 13 life, so we're going to have to get moving soon. Draw. A nod to the bone, but we don't have a green source. Cycle. Well, there's a green source. Cycle. Probably want this in play. I realize that we're going to lose storm count on the reaping the graves, but if they duress me here, I'd rather have access to gnaw to the bone than a reaping the graves. All right, so they played a bridge, still have four cards in hand. Vampire's Kiss. I like our opponent's build. Like, it makes a lot of sense to me that you would want Galvanic Blast in the deck that just, like, shoots out blood tokens. Like, it makes a lot of sense to me. And now we're going to go to 8. Draw. So now we can cycle this Ash Barons and just go get the forest. Alright, well, let's gain 12. They're using a blood token. Discarded a land. Another blood token. Another land down. And Alms of the Vein. So they get to draw a card here. My concern is that they draw into a Duress or another Spell Bomb. And then we'll take three down to 14. Draw. Cycle Healer. I think we just flash back the Gnaw. Pass. Faithless Looting. Discarded a Tyrant's Choice. So they discarded a four mana burn spell. Uh, I feel like that's not good for me. Deadly Dispute. So they're just really digging here. Two mana, another Deadly Dispute. Yep. Double treasure up. All right, so we're going to take three down to 25. Draw. I think it's go time. Cabal Ritual. And let's uh, cast this ploy, see if we can hit a creature. We did, so we can discard the horror here. Play Cabal Ritual. Songs of the Damned. Nod to the Bone just for Storm Count here. Doesn't help that... I mean, it doesn't hurt that we're going to 42, but the real reason to play it there is the Storm. And our opponent just conceded. So I'll take it. We're 3-0. Two rounds left to go. See if we can make this happen. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment and subscribe.
If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. On the play for match number four. I think you just have to ship that, unfortunately. This hand's pretty good. We're going to bottom the Lotus Petal. Keep and bottom. Opponent is also taking a mulligan. All right, Swamp and pass the turn. Then we can see what the opponent's on. They ended up going all the way down to five. That said, with the draw step, they are back up to six. So something red. And they're on the Goblins deck, and we have the Fairy Macabre specifically for this matchup. I think I'm actually going to grab a Swamp here instead of the Island, just so I can double cycle on my turn. Alright, cycle the Horror. And I think I'm actually going to cycle the Baron more here. Just trying to keep my mana options open. Looting. Discarded Prospector and Matron. So by discarding Matron, they open up Unearth on Matron to get the Putrid Goblin. And uh, I feel like our hand's a little too clunky right now. Okay, so we drew the blue source for the teachings, but we don't have enough creatures yet. Here's the Unearth. Yep. So now they can go get Putrid Goblin, which means if they have a first day of class, I'm dead next turn. Okay, draw. Let's cycle the Street Wraith. Cycle Vantasaur. Dark Ritual. Cycle Stinger. Cycle the Horror. Lotus Petal. All right, let's songs. I'm going for it. Cycle. And I guess the question is, do we care more about, I lose one mana, but I could get a blue source, but I could keep this open for in case I drew into another blue card. Does that matter more? I don't know, but I guess like cycling here does improve my odds a little bit. So I guess I'll do this. Teachings and we'll go grab another Songs of the Damned. All right. Reaping the Graves number one. Three Wraith first. Cycle. Okay. I like drawing Dark Ritual there. Keep the... So, okay, so Repository Scop can get back songs. Perfect draw, Cabal Ritual. Thank you. Cycle the Vantasaur. Cycle. Cycle Street Wraith, Dark Ritual, Cycle Vantasaur, and Healer comes back. Okay, so Cycle the Healer, Cycle Architects, and now we play the Repository Scob to get back songs. Exploit, getting back songs wherever it is. Cast it for 14 mana. So I can play the teachings here for another songs. I feel like that's worth it. Okay. And now we can just win the game. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm just going to return everything. All right. Everyone's coming home. Red mana. Red mana. I've played a lot of the Goblin stack. I actually own it in paper. And when I get bored, sometimes I just shuffle it up and play it because it's really quick to goldfish, uh, which is one of the things that I like about it. The deck is very, very powerful. Cycle. Ooh, we drew another Stinger. Sting, Sting. And our opponent's conceded. All right, so that was game number one. 
we bring in the fairy macabs here and then just take out a couple architects i think let's try this out you could in theory board in mirror shell crab i don't think that's necessary game number two i think i'm gonna try this we have a cyborg card in our hand. We have two of an important card. I think the only real downside here is that we don't have more cycling creatures. Draw. I'm just gonna cycle the Vantus. I'm gonna try to hold these Barrymores for as long as I can because I don't really wanna play them. I would prefer to cycle those. That's a Putrid Goblin. Cycle the Stinger. All right, so our opponent could try to goldfish us here, but if they do, we have the fairy. Oh, they might be going for it. Um, so I could remove the goblin here, uh, or I could wait till they try to have a payoff. I don't know if it really matters. I think I'm just going to take it now. Then hit the F6 key. Okay. I think I'm just going to pass here. So if need be, I can Dark Ritual into Reaping the Graves and get back Fairy Macabre. But I really want to be able to cycle this Baron more. We're going to take one down to 19. Deadly Dispute. And they're passing. Cycle the Baron more. Another Cabal Ritual, okay, draw. Street Wraith is a good one. All right, so I think we're going for it here. I wouldn't be surprised if they had a Pyroblast. It's something that you should just keep in the back of your mind. Cycle the Architects. Cycle Healer. Wow, that was a good draw. Songs. All right, I'm going to play Celebrant. And this should return everyone. All right, so we have 11 mana total. I normally don't like to play out Stinger early, but I think I'm going to make an exception here because I'm pretty convinced that they have a Pyroblast in hand. I don't like my guts just telling me that. And at least here I can get in some chip damage and I don't know, like maybe we won't need to do the full like repository scob loop sort of thing as long as I get some of that chip damage in. Another one. Okay, so let's play another stinger. Down to five floating mana though. Cycle Street Wraith. And another one. Okay. So they'll go to 15. Cycle Vantasaur. I played a land. All right, so let's cycle this. I get the cycle trigger and the, the mana back, so that's kind of nice. Cycle healer. I might actually have it with the reaping. Maybe I'm wrong, because I can get back double street wraith. Uh, that's not going to do it. But they conceded. Wow, okay. Um, sure. So we are 4-0, one round left to go. I'll see you there. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. The fifth and final match of this league. We are on the play. I have no clue what our opponent's playing. This hand, not a keep. Captain Mulligan. Uh, so here, I think we're actually supposed to bottom a Dark Ritual. Once again, we need Cycler. So you can't bottom a Baron more because you need to be able to keep your cycling density high. Um... So I think it just has to be a Dark Ritual. And it's not like Dark Ritual is that impactful anyway. But here I'm going to be lazy and I'm just going to main phase cycle the Stinger. 
Another Baron Moore, okay. <laughs> exactly what the doctor ordered. Okay, Tron. We don't know if they're the Storm Tron or uh, old classic Tron. So they will have Tron assembled next turn. Draw. Let's cycle horror. That's a bummer. Okay, pass the turn. Here the second island is getting us a little bit. That said, our draws so far have just been terrible. Honestly, I'm not sure which I'd prefer, if they were Stormtron or Classic Tron. Um, I think this means they're like a classic build. Draw. We hit a swamp. That's good. Whoops, undo. Cycle this barren more. Come on, creatures. Another reaping the graves. Cycle. Okay, I like a creature. That's our third creature. We just have to pass here. Another tower. Okay, so I will fall to 16 life. Another assembly worker. I can't believe it. I didn't see that coming. And now they're going to play it. So next turn, I in theory, like, I don't know what they have for reach, but they have 12 damage on board. They would only need four to win the game. And I drew another land. Um, so... I'm just going to grab a swamp here and pass. Yeah, I think that's fine. Are they just pure colorless? What's going on here? So I'm going to go to four. Map, okay. Storm one. And they're going to search with map. For Bajooka Bog. And that is the fourth assembly worker. Okay, now we can return all three creatures. We know that they have Bajooka Bog in their deck now, by the way. So that's actually pretty valuable information. And we're going to cycle here. Cabal Ritual's good. All right, so it is definitely our go turn. We have to do something meaningful. All right, so we have Threshold now. We can play Cabal Ritual. Cycle Architects. Cycle. Land is not good. All right, let's cycle off that. Our draws have not been very fortunate this game. Uh, how many cyclers do we even have in there? Four. Yikes. Okay. I'm just going to return everything. Why not? Cycle. Cycle the Architects. Cycle Vantasaur. Cycle Stinger. Cabal Ritual. Come on, Baramore, please hit some more creatures. Uh... So we can teachings for reaping the graves here, but it's really awkward. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to win this. Getting back the same four creatures. We're halfway through our deck and we've seen four creatures. That just sort of failed me this game. Cycle. Go to two. Cycle. Cycle. Okay. I don't have a draw that wins here. It just doesn't matter. Um. Yeah, I mean, they got me. 27 cards in. That was embarrassing. Okay. I don't actually know what version of Tron they're playing. 
So let's look at the popper metagame to see if it's in there at all. I'm pretty unfamiliar with this list. I feel like uh, that was a game we needed to win, and I just didn't do it. Um, okay. This doesn't look like... This is the Storm deck, so it's definitely not this. Let's check the Sand Pop list. It's the Storm one. This is the Storm list. Storm list. Here's a red green one down here. So here's what we're looking at. Ancient stirrings, crop rotation. Weather the storm. Bajuka bog. So they had a main deck bog, but what we're trying to beat is instant speed crop rotation. So we're probably gonna want these two mirror shell crabs. And Take out a couple copies of Architects, probably. Let's try this out. Although I don't love Mirshal versus the Tron deck, uh, because th they're so likely to have a spare three mana. Let's try it. All right, so we're just gonna do Island for the Swamp here. Because I plan on cycling this Baron more. Power plant and map. Draw. Another Baron more. So now that we know that our opponent's a Bajuka Bog deck, you really don't want to cycle in your main phase if you can help it. Forest, okay. It makes me a little bit nervous that they might be like trying to hold up bog. Maybe I don't commit both creatures quite yet. Draw. Right, I'm going to play this Baron more because it gives us mana to cast the Mirror Shell Crab. And they're going to use map. There's this tower, sure thing. And they played the tower. Gruel Signet. Yeah, this screams crop rotation to me, but I don't know if I can uh, beat it, as, at least right now. Like, we have the crab, but if they just hold it up later... All right, I think I'm just going to pass for now. Like, I could try to go for it here, but it's pretty risky in my opinion. Oh, I think we're seeing crop rotation. Get crabbed. No Tron for you. At least not yet. Ancient Stirrings. Picking up Urza's mind, so they got the missing piece. From Sphere. Draw. Let's cycle the Stinger. Another songs. That felt like an F6. Ooh, they're definitely F6. Okay, so let's get back the songs here. Just makes one mana doing that loop. Actually, I think I'm going to try to ploy here. That did not go that well. Uh, cycle. I like the Street Wraith pickup. And let's uh, do it, I guess. I'm going to leave the... I guess I could return the Mirror Shell Crab, but they've already proven that they're F6. That just means that any future songs is a little bit worse. All right, uh, I'm going to cycle in response to this, just in case I hit another songs on accident. Cycle... Come on, Doc, be good to me. Cycle. Mirror Shell Crab. So this is my last draw. If it misses, I fizzle. Okay. 
Lotus Petal. Yes. Okay. So... What are my options here? I don't have an island in the... The island is in my graveyard. I discarded it to the ploy. Um, so I can get back... Like, uh, reaping the graves, but honestly, that doesn't do anything for me. I feel like my best bet might just be ploy here. Because if I get back songs, I, I can't do anything with all the black mana. And if I get back reaping, I don't have enough mana. So it's sort of a lose-lose. So I think it, the answer here is ploy. I just hope to spike. So if I discard the teachings... I would then have four mana, six mana, so I could flash back the teachings, but it doesn't do anything right now. Or I could just discard the Mirror Shell Crab because they're about to have Tron anyway, which I think is the right move. But I guess the downside of not discarding the teachings is if I cycle into either Songs or Reaping, I can't win. All right, I'm going to discard the teachings then. Cycle, come on. I guess Cabal Ritual would give me flashback, but it wouldn't do anything else, so that doesn't work. Cycle. Does Celebrant do it? All right, so I would go up to five. Celebrant doesn't do it. Because I could play the Repository Scott, but it wouldn't do anything this turn. I think I'm just going to pass. So by holding open Dark Ritual, I can Dark Ritual Mirror Shell Crab, but also by not playing the Dark Ritual right now, I have more Storm Count next turn to recover. Okay, so they have Assembled Tron. 8 mana. Colossus. Boarding Party. That's a pretty good one to uh, cascade into here. And network terminal, sure. They're tapped out at least for the moment. They'll get in and we'll go to 23 life. Okay, draw. Okay, I mean, I would have liked that last turn at some point, but I'm not going to complain too much. Repository scob, exploit. Get back songs of the damned. Cast songs, flashback teachings, go get another songs. Cast songs, reaping the graves, we'll get back repository scob. It's storm number six. Wraith, 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 Stinger, Stinger. I think we might be able to just start trying to win the game here. Okay, so let's add some red mana. Play the Stinger. And another one. Let's cycle. Auto yields. Okay, the teachings was a fine draw. Cycle. Cycle. Okay, so they're at eight. If we can just chain together a few more uh, cycles, we won't even need to reaping the graves. Cycle this. Okay. One more cycler is all we need here. Boo! So I have to reaping the graves now. Uh, let's add a blue. We'll get back songs. Cast songs, pay a life, teachings, getting back, reaping the graves, and cast it. All right, so it looks like we're going to win game number two here. Oops, cycle. Okay, game number three coming up. It will be for the trophy. I mean, this hand's not bad. Uh, I think we keep this. 12 minutes on clock, plenty of time.
They just played Endurance of Mine and passed the turn. So we're going to play Barrenmore and just pass. On our turn, we'll cycle a creature looking for land number two. If we don't draw that land, we will cycle the Street Wraith. Finding our land drops is fairly important. And Basic Forest again. Main Freeze Crop Rotation. Yep. There's Tron Piece number two. So they're just playing around counter magic. And we found our land. I guess I can just wait and play and cycle on their end step. There it is. Tron has been assembled. The self assembler. All right, let's cycle the horror of the broken lands here. Blood celebrant. Cycle stinger. Cycle architects. Cycle street wreath. Trying to hit our land here. Do I dare go for it? I mean, they don't have any green mana open. I think we're actually supposed to. All right. I'm going to regret this probably, but I'm going for it. We have a window. Cycle the stinger. All right. Cabal ritual. Songs. Play the celebrant. Add a blue mana, and let's play Scob, and we'll get back Songs. Returning Songs of the Damned. Cast it for six. And Reaping the Graves. Only seven mana floating. All right, so let's cycle as we go. We need to make this mana work. Mirror Shell Crab, eh, not really what I needed right here. Cycle. Like the Dark Ritual hit. Cycle. Cycle. So if I wanted to, I should have done it in response to that if I wanted to do it, but this only makes sense. It's not really worth burning another songs on that, in my opinion. Okay. So if I wanted to get back songs off the Scabo would then make five. I should just keep cycling. Okay. Not going to cycle that. Ooh, I forgot that those were empty. So it would have made six, which is still only plus one mana. It's not really worth it. Uh, I'm going to cycle this, see if I can spike. And I did not. Cycle. All right, so silver lining. I have dark ritual and a crab. I don't know if that's actually meaningful or not, but it's available. Oh! No! Ah, oh, we just lost our 5-0, I think. That was not good. All right, so there's a chance we can come back. I mean, I don't love our odds, but it's possible. So I could counter this. Is that really what I want to be doing, though? I think we need to buy time. If we're realistically trying to win this, time is what I need. So I think we're supposed to counter. And they played around the mirror shell because they could have played the assembly worker and then bog, and they didn't do that. Okay. I think we just have to pass here. So this puts us to six. It's a lot of cards in exile. Oh, all four of our stingers are in exile. I definitely lost when that happened then. Uh, we can't win the game unless we attack. And, uh... I am not super confident in our ability to do that. Yeah, they got us on the Bajuka Bog, so this is going to be a 4-1. Um, I mean, I shouldn't feel disappointed with the 4-1, but I do. So I think there's three games this league that our deck sort of failed us. 
And if we go back and look at the um, r results, so there was our game two against the red black burn deck where we went really deep. And then both games one and three, I felt like the deck failed me a little bit here. Uh, more so in game one than game three. I knew my odds were going to be low in game three. But uh, it's interesting because I added in a second teachings. So our odds of success should have been a lot higher. Um, it's just, it didn't really work that way. So you have like six odds at drawing songs or six odds at drawing reaping, but uh, it just didn't work tonight. So I'm not upset with the four one, but I would have loved to trophy sort of a bummer. Not the end of the world though. Uh, I do think that this list is pretty good. I'm certainly open to your feedback. I've been trying a lot of things recently and in the storm discord which you're not if you're not a part of the links in the description below but a lot of people are talking about repeal right now and i think this lee you saw a few times where dissenters deliverance just answered a relic or spell bomb very early where if that was repeal you can't do that and that's sort of why i'm not playing repeal right now is repeal is super nice in the fact that it can trips for one mana with lotus petal but the fact that it's not a real answer means that you're going to lose more games to an early hate piece, which I think is problematic. At least my two cents. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.